Send it, send it, send it, send it. TK. what's good everybody all my cindy believers believe is period <laughs> as you can see by the title i got accepted into nursing school <laughs> oh my god i got accepted into nursing school oh my goodness i cannot believe it what a time what a time so first off my name is cindy welcome to cindy tv and um i'm so excited i'm gonna have to do two videos because believe it or not i'm actually on my way to orientation so i think i'm gonna do two different videos but um oh my gosh i am so thankful i am so happy i've been if you know me you know that i've been going back and forth um with nursing school for like years thing i didn't want to be a nurse because my mother was a nurse and i was like one of those kids that was like so stubborn like i don't want to be a nurse because my mom's a nurse i'm going to do something else and trust me i do have um other dreams i really my dream is to become a writer and write tv shows and act and all those things but i'm a mom so because i'm a mom i can't wait on that dream to happen it's like when it happens, it happens. But in the meantime, I just want to do something that I can feel a fulfillment out of. And I did have great jobs. I already had my bachelor's degree. But um, I had some great jobs, but it, it didn't really move me. Like, I would just wake up and be like, oh my God, I'm dreading to go to work. So... <laughs> I was like, you know what? Let me stop playing. Let me stop playing with this nursing shit. I don't want to curse, but <laughs> let me stop playing with this nursing ish. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. And the school that I go to is Chamberlain University. I can't believe I'm saying that. I can't believe I'm saying that I am going to nursing school and that I got accepted into nursing school. Um, for Chamberlain, it's a BSN program and if you and i'm sorry if i have like a glare on my glasses um uh, i like wearing my contacts when i make videos but yeah i'm gonna get the glasses okay but um chamberlain it's a three-year program they say it's a three-year accelerated program because most traditional uh bachelors of nursing schools well programs they are four years so say if you are just now graduating high school and you go to Chamberlain it will be three years for you but for me my case is different because I already have my bachelor's and I and I, I took some prerequisites so I have some gen ed classes and a science class so me going to Chamberlain I already had like 31 credits and then um I think now, once they review all my information, because they're still trying to get my um, schedule together, um, I still have about, I think, eight more credits that they're going to take. Eight or ten more credits that they're going to take. So, I might have 40 credits altogether. So, I wouldn't necessarily be three years. I would be um, a two-year student. Maybe like a two-year student, maybe a two-year couple of months. Um, so, but I, I definitely graduate, um, in about two years and luckily for me, my program is a night program. You graduate the same time as a day program, but they do offer you the day and the night program. Um, so that's cool, right? <laughs> Cause most people work in the daytime. So, and don't get me wrong. It was a couple of other schools that I wanted to attend but for me, I felt like I, I'm a, I'm a full-time mom, so I don't want to set myself up for failure, right? Um, you know that some, accelerate, some accelerated programs are 12 months to 18 months. Um, and I just felt like maybe that would be too much for me. Not saying that I can't do it, but first of all, they don't offer me that night 
program that night flexibility so um I just thought that would be so much um, with dropping the kids off and picking them up. And oh my God. So I just felt like maybe that this was, you know, the best choice for me. And not only that, but my student advisor, oh my God. My student advisor encouraged me so much at Chamberlain. Um, and another advisor at a different school did too, but specifically i was ready to like throw in a towel and say because i was overwhelmed i was honestly i was going back and forth with nursing and sonography and um i said cynthia why do you keep running from nursing it's like you you keep running like don't don't discredit yourself if the next person can do it so can you so I had I was throwing in the towel and I told my student advisor, listen, I'm sorry I put you through all this paperwork and going back and forth for me, but I don't think that I'm gonna do the um, nursing anymore. So I'm thinking that she's gonna be like, oh my god, why does she keep changing her mind? But instead, she just gave me words of encouragement, and she really didn't have to do that because I know she has a busy schedule with hundreds of students. So. She was just like, um, you know, the hardest part about making a decision, in your case, the hardest part about going to nursing school is putting your first foot forward into the program. That would be the hardest part because you would have so many decisions and so many things on your shoulders telling you, you know, maybe you're not good enough. Maybe this is not your time and blah, 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 blah. And then you're listening to other people. It's always a waste of money. Um, you could do something else, but you know what? I really had to make a decision for myself and that's what I did. I, I took that encouragement and I, I just prayed about it and I said, you know what? Don't take me off. Um, don't take me off the list. Keep me on there for um, September. My classes start in September. Um, <laughs> so yes, I am a Chamberlain nursing student. I go to the um, the Chamberlain in New Jersey, so it's only I, I believe it's only one in New Jersey, but they have a, a whole bunch of franchises in different um, states across the United States. Yeah, so today is my first day of orientation. It's been a journey. I cannot wait to take y'all along so y'all can see me. I'm like the goofiest person, so. You know, um, oh, and I don't think, y'all, well, y'all don't know this because I didn't tell y'all, but remember when I said I had really great jobs? I was a, a diapers worker. Oh my goodness. I worked, I worked in really good places. My, my fiance always tells me, Cindy, you work, you had some of the best jobs and I just wasn't happy. I wasn't satisfied. And, um, I said to myself, you know, I'm going to start over. I'm gonna start over and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna punch myself in the back and and and, and like I said before discredit myself um I'm gonna start over and, and guess what it's okay to start over so you know what I did about a couple years ago I took um a CNA class and I never used it I, I did the CNA program I never used it because I got hired I forgot yeah I got hired as a diapers worker um, and prior to that, I was working at motor vehicles. I was working at the post office. I was working at, um, well, I got hired at, uh, a bus company. And, um, but, and prior to that, I was a, a program aide working in a group home, basically doing the same thing as a CNA, except that we get to administer medication. So, um, I said I was going to start over and become a CNA. And so I did. And was it a big pay cut? Hell yeah. It was a big ass pay cut. But guess what? I, I had prior experience working with, you know, individuals with intellectual disabilities. So when I came into the CNA world, um, it was the same thing caring for people. But it's just the way, you know, the protocol of how, of how a CNA would take care of a patient. And um, let me tell you. I enjoy taking care of people. I don't enjoy getting cursed out by y'all parents, <laughs> y'all grandparents. I don't enjoy getting cursed out, but I know that, you know, with um, old age um, 
and I worked with I worked with long term and uh, subacute. So what what I was saying, um, what comes with old age is like dementia and stuff like that. So it's not really, you know, you can't really blame y'all parents and y'all grandparents for getting, you know, for cursing me out. But um, it comes with the job. But the most re rewarding thing is. <clears throat> leaving that room and having a patient stop you and say what well, before you leave i just want to thank you thank you so much for helping me thank you so much for caring for me y'all don't know how long you don't know how long i've been waiting to get washed up or you don't know how long i've been waiting for water and you know it's sad but i'd be so happy to see my patients happy because one thing that my mother taught me is to respect your elders. And you don't have to tell the whole world what you do or what you give. You know, just do what you're supposed to do as a child of God. So, you know, so I, I really do get a fulfillment of helping out people. And not all the time it's about the money. It's definitely not about the money. I'm telling you, it's not about the money. You know, you try to hustle and bustle where you can with the agency and da 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 da. But you know, it comes. To, you you even even though you're getting paid, I, I feel like you know. For me, me, I can't speak for everybody else. I love to make sure that my patients are taken care of on my shift. I want to make sure, and I want to make sure I'm a role a role model for you know whoever's watching me. Um, so yes, so I'm definitely gonna make another video about me going to orientation so I can tell y'all about how it went and give y'all the details. But so far, I believe I'm graduating in 2025 or 2026. And if it's 2026, I want to say it's the beginning or middle, and if it's 2025, it's probably the end, but I don't know for sure once I talk to um somebody and registrar or whoever does the scheduling um or you know admissions so yes i am happy so anybody that got accepted into nursing school congratulations congratulations future nurses and anybody that's doing their prerequisites congratulations yes because guess what them prerequisites is hard as hell and then you'll ask yourself wow why do I have to take this to go to nursing school? Some of the, the prerequisites is like crazy. But, um, oh, and when I had said the um, three-year thing about Chamberlain, it's three years. They call it accelerated because it's three years because you don't need your prerequisites. Their prerequisites is wrapped into the program. So they take off that extra year and they make it three years. So I guess that's why they call it accelerated. So, um, but I am so happy. And anybody that's thinking about nursing school... I'm not going to, I'm not going to pressure you and say, do it, do it, do it. No, I'm not disclaimer. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not pressuring anybody <laughs> to become a nurse. I am just giving you advice that whatever you want to do in life, whether it is to become a doctor, a lawyer, a police officer, an entrepreneur, an actor like me one day, a writer like me one day, um, do it, go for it, go for it. Because guess what? Like I said before, if the next person can do it, there's no reason why you can't do it. You have the capability. You are smart. You are beautiful. You can go out there and do it. My advisor said the first thing to do is put that first step forward. I promise you. I promise you. The decision that you make is going to change your life. It's going to change your life. I'm telling you. For the rest of your life. If that makes sense. I don't know if I said it backwards. But, um... So with that being said, right now it's 2.47. I have to be at my campus at, it starts at 4 o'clock. It's uh, exactly, what, 38 minutes or 39 minutes away from me. So I'm about to be on my way. And I'm going to tell y'all all about it when I get there. Well, when I come back. So, mm -hmm. all right, believers, I'm out, over and out. Love y'all. <laughs>